new favorite thing. Everywhere I go now, I try to order a matcha latte. Yeah, I like a it matcha too. Matcha latte. I had some of yours when we went to, uh, where did we go to get it? Mm. We went down oh, there by the water, oh. but. Oh, okay. Did we? I think Whole so. Foods. I think you had one there. And you have one at Whole Foods. <laughs> I'm having one everywhere, but I have to say, so far, this is my favorite one. Matcha? Matcha is a little bit. It's green tea, but it's like a powdered form of green tea. It's like powder, you know? It's not like tea that you put in, in hot water. Mm. It's like a powder that you mix in, so it's really green. Last time you got jasmine tea, I think. Yeah. Mm, oh my god. This date square was the best date square I've had in my entire life. <laughs> really. We didn't say where we were at again. We're at Echo we're at this Echo, yeah. It's this really cool coffee shop that's owned by an artist who actually went to the same art university as I did. Did I tell you that? I think you did because we we talked about the paintings. Yeah. And then she's also a, a pastry chef. So she makes all the pastries herself. That's why this is so good. It's like a, a pastry chef quality pastry here. And uh, her name is Echo. So this this coffee shop is called Echo. E-C-H-O. Mm -hmm. The two little dots. So her name is Echo. And we were talking, first time I met her, we were talking about the myth, the Greek myth of Echo. And how Echo got her name. Oh, that's where it came from? The actual myth? Yeah, that's, her parents liked the myth. So they named her Echo. And Echo, I mean, right now I'm kind of, my brain is foggy, but Echo fell in love with Narcissus, as, I, as far as I remember. And then Narcissus uh, fell in love with his own reflection. So he couldn't reciprocate the love with anybody else. He's, he really loved himself. And when uh, he died, he just sat at a lake at a reflection, looking at his own reflection in a lake. He just sat there, sat there, just looked at his own reflection until he died. Wow, so that's where narcissists come from. Come yeah, from. and then um, where he died, where he died, a flower came out, and that's the narcissist flower. That's where the narcissist flower gets its name. Oh, there's an actual flower called Yeah, narcissist. narcissist. It's the yellow ones, the yellow flowers. And then, um, so then Echo gets her name because she kept calling out to him, but she could only hear her own voice back. So that's where you get echo, the, the word echo in English. When you, cause she, cause Narcissus was in a cave. He went in a cave, a, a cave I think, or he was around a cave. That part I don't exactly remember. But when he, when she yelled out, to, like called out his name, he called out to her. Basically she called out to, to him. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she called out his name, but she called out to him. And then her own voice would come back to her. Because oh. Hera, the goddess Hera, put a curse on her that she, every time she spoke, whatever she said, the words would come back to her. Yeah, that's an interesting story. It's yeah. amazing how many words we use every day that come from beautiful stories exactly, like that. Exactly, right? And so much of it that we don't know. Like the Greek god Hypnos was the god of sleep. So I, think, I think I remember hearing that one actually before. Hmm. I might have heard it from you. I think maybe. I learned so much. Sometimes from I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm, okay, so this one is totally wrapped. This one I got uh, as a trade from, from, I'm not going to say her name because maybe she doesn't want me to, but from Facebook we did a trade. I traded my Weaver's Oracle deck, which was a beautiful deck. I just couldn't connect with it connect with it for some reason. Beautiful deck. Artwork was amazing. Oh, she wrote a little thank you note. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I didn't do that for her. Oh, let me see. Yeah. So she put it, um, you've been working hard, take a nap and get some rest. She put a Dorian Virtue. This is a nice way of using Dorian Virtue cards. It you is guys. actually, huh? You know, if you don't want your Dorian Virtue decks, don't burn them. Don't throw them away. Use them as like art. Yeah. She just sent one. She put a thank you note. And that's so sweet. And it has a really good message on it, too. So. Yeah, it does. It's sweet. It's got a nice image. And actually, you know what? The mermaid deck from Dorian Virtue is one of my favorites of hers. Gotta admit, I have a lot of Dorian Virtue decks because she's the first one I, that kind of introduced me to Oracle decks, actually. 
before that I didn't really know about this whole world of oracle cards that I didn't oh. really know. Yeah, she kind of, Dorian Virtue was my first introduction to oracle decks. That's why, you know, I still keep my decks because they still are meaningful for me for uh -huh. what I went through with them back then, you know? Yeah. They helped me back then. I love so. oracle decks. I, I've used them like equal amount of time with tarot. So ever, since I started using tarot, I also had oracle decks. Mm -hmm. so. But it I was mean, just a combination for me. Dorian Virtue. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Like, can I see that? That's, this is like a card. Oh, this is. Wow. I think that was for. Yeah. When she originally this is bought. From, it. Yeah. Yeah. This is so nice. This was a, a note from Nora from the artist of the deck. It's a star. It's like she, one that she painted herself. And. Oh, that's so sweet. Such a nice personal touch. Yeah, this is all. This Very looks handwritten nice. too. This is, but it's printed, right? I Can't, don't know. I mean, it must be. This looks handwritten. This is, it's, if it's handwritten, it's beautiful handwriting. I can't believe it. But I mean, I can't believe she would write handwrite a card like that for everybody. Wow. This, is, this shows that she's very passionate about what she does. You know? I still can't get over this, this like, how she put this put a cute card in there. And it looks like a heart here. Oh, yeah. I bet she never even noticed that, that little heart right there. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that was on, it must have been an accident. Well, you notice a lot of things in art. Aww. Pick up on a lot of things. I notice just details of things, I guess. Maybe I'm just seeing it as a heart, but it looks like a heart to me. So here's the deck. Oh, wow. How bright are the colors. Beautiful. Perfect summery deck. It is. Even up into October because of the orange. Oh, that's true. It looks like a pumpkin, now that you mention it. Handmade tarot cards. Wow. Really nice. It's a heavy card. I like it. Feels really thick and nice. Mm -hmm. Not nice glossy, but not matte either. Just really normal. Really nice finish. Mm -hmm. Normal finish. But it is, yeah, it doesn't really bend much. Mm -hmm. I'm very pleased with the condition of this deck. Thank you to the lovely soul that sent it to me. They look so much better, as always, in person. This is interesting. Justice. They do. Like, when I looked at them, at the pictures, I saw a lot more red. But now in person, I'm seeing a lot of other colors. colors yeah. Out. Like, look at this one, the watercolor in the background, the full card. The splash, like, the different textures. This one looks That's so different. That's an interesting full cool card. It is. Very. It's very asymmetrical. Asymmetrical? See how this ear is way mm -hmm. bigger? And, but it's it's supposed to be like that, but it does something. It has like a really interesting effect. It looks eccentric. Yeah. Oh wow, I like that. The ton of cups. Ten of cups? Beautiful. That's a nice image. She's sitting under an apple tree and... <laughs> I don't see 10 things in there, but that's the, okay. This, you know? this deck is very non-traditional. It is. So it's not definitely not really a Rider Waite deck. Yeah. I mean, there are, of course, Rider Waite meanings. And that's good. You can actually see images of people in the tree. I don't know if you see that or not. Yep, I do. I saw that. Oh, wow. I love that. Nine of Wands, in general, is one of my favorite cards. But this is so interesting. And I see the Russian influence of the strong colors. She's Russian. Mm. And actually, I knew I thought about this before I found out she was Russian. I thought, you know, there's a lot of Russian influence with the architecture, the strong colors, the dresses of the females, the woman, high right. priestess. Mentioning the dress, the dress on this one, you can see almost a landscape. Yeah, dress. totally. Mountain and wow. She's Very like nice part of the universe. Mm -hmm. Holding the universe. Nice, the magician. That's the. Emperor. I recognize. Oh, oh, okay. The Could emperor be the magician a... though, because of the red, the red cape. And the little halo, but right. like an infinity. Almost I thought like about an, the yep. infinity mm -hmm. sign. And... Oh, beautiful, King of Pentacles. I love the flow. It, it's the artwork is very like almost um, childlike. Very imaginative, fantasy, imaginative, imagination. Ace of Pentacles is really Who's interesting. That one? 
Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. What do you think about that? Um, just it does very it does vary a lot from the right away, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. But the emotion, I like the emotion on it, the expression. It does kind of have like a, it gives me sort of a, a certain feeling to it, like the expression on the face. The rest of it, not really focused too much on that, but it mm -hmm. does have sort of a focused look to it. Very. This one, these cards could be read really nice intuitively. I think you would read these really. I would like to see how you would read these cards. Mm. Look at that four of pentacles. She looks like a gypsy, like a Russian gypsy woman. But what's Very nice. with her hand missing a finger? That's so interesting. Is I thought it was just bent. Oh, no, it is missing. It looks like it's missing. It's very images are very eccentric. There's a lot to them. You could go so many different directions with these images. Four of cups. Four of cups. Like, what do you think about that? Interesting. It is. Mm -hmm. It's hard to articulate unless you're doing a reading. Yeah. I think that. If you're doing a reading and you're really in that state of bringing your intuition out, mm -hmm. you would get so much from these cards. But if you're just looking at them, just as yeah. the, at the heart, you're right. And you're not using your intuition, yeah. you miss a lot. So this would be a great deck, I think, that would build that you would build on in the future. Yeah. Having had like experiences mm -hmm. with it. Exactly. It's a personal deck kind of thing. And look, that's one of my favorite images. I remember seeing this before I got the deck. Eight of Swords. Yeah. Beautiful image. It's just, it's just the image itself. The colors as an art work. I just love the way it's painted. I love the flow. The idea of her sitting, uh, laying just like. It's very secluded, very. Very, it's a very deep image that you could just really. I think if you meditated on this, it would take you to an interesting place. This is definitely a deck that you have to spend time with. It is. Look at the lovers, beautiful image. I have to say, each image, every image on these cards is beautiful in and out of itself, and there's a lot to it. And it's almost like you can't really compare it to RWS, like you can't think, how does this relate to. Uh, well, in this case, you well, can. Yeah, in this, in this case, with in the lovers, lovers you, can. you can. But in many cases, you can't. Or but still, it is so much more than. It takes you to another level right away. I love the strength card. That's nice. That's just a nice image. Love that. that is. Oh, look at her hands, how she's, she's got her fingers yeah. on the. Oh, the little you can lion. see the compassion in such her. A, she's such a cute lion. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. She's almost like sending um, light vibrations. Like Reiki, she's almost doing Reiki. Like, look, she's closed her eyes and she's somewhere else. I love the inclusion of the sun in this. It just really uh -huh. brightens it up. Yeah, very. It's a very, very positive, nice card. This is a different take on the Hermit. Mm -hmm. It's very, you know, it's much more colorful than I would imagine the Hermit card to be. Would, she, would you say she's relating this to Pisces or Fish? I don't know. Because um, the Hermit's not Pisces. Either. No, it's Virgo. I would think more earth, but then I see the sun, sun in there. Yeah, I think these, these um, I watched some of her videos and she, in, on YouTube, she has some videos working with this deck and she really made a deck to inspire the imagination and I can see that. The sun card is gorgeous. Oh, Look at that is. sun card. That's gorgeous, just as, with the patterns and the decorative all the deck like you know it looks like it reminds me of an Indian fabric design she, yeah she definitely could have been a fashion designer I wonder if she does fashion as well mm. like if she has like a Etsy shop or something she does have an Etsy job Etsy shop mm, okay. it's not I haven't seen fashion but I've seen really colorful painting all mm. kinds of very strong color she seems very intense as as an artist temperance I wouldn't have imagined that either but I think she did a, a video on the temperance and when she talks about it she goes into all these stories like she's just going her mind is just going to like all these different dimensions when she talks about the images it's so interesting something, I think, yeah oh no something that she does that, that you do as well in your art is there are transitions like you see how this fence is kind of like this and then the hand oh, forms yeah. a part of it i've seen yeah. that in your work oh, really? as well mm -hmm. oh thank you That's good. That's yeah nice it was it's something that 
it's a detail that I think a lot of people miss. But it's something, see how that fence comes down to mm -hmm. right there? Yeah, you're right. Harmony and the, balance. Exactly. In the composition. Yeah, that's true. Oh, thank you. Hangman is actually right side up. Hmm. It's on a clothesline. Very cute star card. Yes, it is. Very happy expression. Yeah. Very positive. And this, I must say, the moon card, it does look very Russian, like the images. My mom's friend is Russian, so I've seen a lot of the decorative art and the handy, hand, handmade crafts that they do. There's all these swirls and shapes and colors and these kinds of designs that I see in this. Uh, is the sun setting there? It yeah, it does. That's really cool. I've never cool. seen the sun actually setting on the moon card. Wow, that's a very, that's, you notice that detail. Mm, it's in three of Wands. Reminds me a little bit about of Nine of Pentacles, actually. I like that star that's tucked in there. Wow, oh, there's just so many details. There is. So I think much. if you're reading with this, yeah. it's good not to get lost in too many of the details. Focus on something, and I think that's what your mind needs to focus on because you could get uh -huh. completely lost uh -huh. in the details here and yeah. not be able to do the reading. Yeah, I think that it can be overwhelming for some people who might be new to reading images, mm -hmm. just reading images. But that was that's a very good point that you brought up because, like for me, the first thing that stood out was a star, even though there's a lot of other things. Pay attention to what sticks out for you, right? Right, right. Seven of Pentacles is a beautiful card. Oh, That's yeah. peaceful. She's, it's I got peaceful, how she's but it looks very barren in the background. It's almost a contradiction. Well, it's like she's waiting. Because like, this card to me is about patience. More, other things as well, of course, besides patience. But one of the main things for me in this card is about patience. And it looks like her face, she's patient. Mm. Also gratitude because yeah. she looks very gracious during a hard time. Mm -hmm. Grateful for the things that she has, whatever she has. She's holding a dog. What is that? Not chicken? Yeah. Uh, rooster? It's a chicken. It looks like it's kind of sleeping and it's a nighttime. Chicken looks very like loved. It's a loved chicken. Yeah, because there's a lot to be said about when things go barren like that or maybe during a fire or something because it, it actually fertilizes the soil. New things spring from that. Yeah. And then, that's true. Three of Cups, just such a beautiful, joyful card, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is one of the cards that, I, so far, to me, is popping out like that joyful feeling. Love it. And this, of course, the Nine of Swords. The yeah, feeling very is there, right? Feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Airport.